Welcome back everyone, Matthew again with Cinegold and today we're checking out the top 10 new TV series in November 2024. There's lots of good stuff across a variety of networks and streaming services, so let's go ahead and start things off with one of the first big releases of the month on November 7th, brand new series, The Day of the Jackal. You're paying me to kill him. I am charging you for getting away. The Day of the Jackal is a brand new series that will air on the Peacock and Sky streaming services. It's about an elusive assassin who makes his living carrying out hits for the highest fee, but soon meets his match in a tenacious British intelligence officer who tracks him down in a thrilling game of cat and mouse. The Day of the Jackal is an adaptation of the Frederick Forsyth novel, but viewers may also remember it being released as a 1973 movie. I believe it releases a exclusively on the Peacock streaming platform in the US and on Sky TV and its streaming platform in the UK. The Day of the Jackal is 10 episodes and will start airing on November 7th. Next up is the final half season of the excellent neo-western series Yellowstone. Our family legacy is this ranch. And I'll protect it of my life. Season 5, Part 2 marks the epic conclusion to the Dutton family's internal war and battle over their land. The first part of this fifth and final season released all the way back in 2022, so viewers have been waiting to see how the story will conclude. Yellowstone has been one of the best series on TV since its 2018 premiere, and though it does have several spin-offs, sequels, and prequels in the works, it will be nice to get a little closure on the original story. The best way to watch it will be on the Paramount Network and Paramount Plus, although episode one can be watched on CBS as well. Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 premieres on November 10th. After that, on the 13th is Bad Sisters Season 2. Bad Sisters is an Irish black comedy about the Garvey sisters who are bound together by their parents' deaths and a promise to always protect one another. It's kind of a mix between comedy and thriller and is definitely one of the underrated series that's releasing a new season this month. Bad Sisters Season 2 can be found on Apple TV+. Plus. Then for another brand new series, you can check out Amazon Prime's Cross. You the doctor? PhD, psychology. Let's see how long you last. <laughs> but you can call me Detective Alex Cross. Cross is a new TV series based on James Patterson's Alex Cross novels. Alex Cross is a detective who uses forensic psychology to analyze killers' minds, delving into victims' psyches to identify murderers and bring them to justice. Cross is a crime thriller series that will star Aldous Hodge and will release all at once on Amazon Prime on the 14th. Then for sci-fi fans, check out Silo Season 2. You try to open the door again, and I'm gonna kill you. Silo is based on the Silo trilogy of novels by Hugh Howey. It's the story of the last 10,000 people on Earth who live in a mile-deep silo that protects them from the toxic and deadly world outside. However, no one knows when or why the silo was built, and those who try to find out face fatal consequences. Silo is a very good series if you're into dystopian sci-fi. Season 2 will bring us 10 more episodes, and you can watch it weekly starting on the 15th on Apple TV+. Plus. Also on the 15th over on Netflix is Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2. This will be the next to last batch of episodes for Cobra Kai. There's still a Part 3 coming in 2025. Part 2 takes place at the Sakai Taikai where Miyagi-Do faces new challenges and old enemies as they battle to become world champions. Cobra Kai Season 6 Part 2 will be 5 episodes and will release all at once on Netflix. Then if you're a Dune fan, Rejoice, a brand new series called Dune Prophecy is releasing on Max. Take out your blade. This is my house. Hey. 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 
Prophecy is a sci-fi series that will serve as a prequel to the 2021 Dune film. The series is set 10,000 years before the events of Dune and follows two Harkonnen sisters as they combat forces that thread the future of humanity and establish the fabled sect known as the Bene Gesserit. I love the Dune universe based on the Frank Herbert series of novels and I'm hoping this series is pretty good because the more Dune the better in my opinion. Dune Prophecy will premiere on Max and HBO starting on the 17th and will consist of six weekly episodes. And another brand new series releasing this November is Landman. Stick with beer, you want something stronger? I quit drinking, I'll stick with beer. Welcome to the oil business. This is another Taylor Sheridan series, creator of Yellowstone and Tulsa King, and is this time set within the world of oil rigs in West Texas, where roughnecks and wildcat billionaires are fueling a boom so big, it's reshaping our climate, our economy, and our geopolitics. Landman stars Billy Bob Thornton as a crisis executive at an oil company. The first season launches on November 17th on Paramount Plus with two episodes, and will continue Continue to release the full 10 episodes weekly. Next up is Season 7 Part 2 of the historical drama series Outlander. In Outlander Season 7, Jamie, Claire, and their family are caught in the violent birth pains of an emerging nation as armies march to war and British institutions crumble in the face of armed rebellion. This is not the end of Outlander, though. There's still a Season 8 coming and a prequel series called Outlander Blood of My Blood on the way. Outlander Season 7 Part 2 will be eight episodes and will start airing weekly on the 22nd on Stars in the US and Lionsgate Plus in the UK. And one more new series to check out this November is Senna. This is a Brazilian miniseries based on the life of Formula One racing driver Ayrton Senna. It will be a short and sweet six episodes and comes out on Netflix on the 29th. That's everything for November. Which series are you going to check out this month? Please let me know in the comments below. Once again, that's it for me today, everyone. I will see you again soon.